Hello, welcome to the KG Guy. This is your first time. I'm glad you could join us and welcome back if you're returning. So we're going through our EKG coding reference guide. As you can see here, and those that don't have access, what you want to do is put this into your search bar, this URL. You'll have to put your email address in, press submit, and then go to your email. You'll get a link, okay? Click on that link to confirm that's you. And then once you do, you have access here, okay? So this is our EKG coding reference guide. And also, if you're returning, all you have to do is go to that, put your uh, email in, and you could bypass that whole thing. So that's just the first time. So what we're doing is going through this, and this coding reference guide is giving us every code that we use for interpreting EKGs, and we're walking through each one. We finished part one, okay? Now we're at part two, and we are looking at sinus arrest or pause here in this video so if you want to click this button it'll scroll down and you'll be able to get to that and uh, follow along so sinus pause or arrest okay again what's happening here is that the sinus node is not conducting okay there's more than a two second pause without a p wave okay particularly at least coming from that sinus node now some causes of this are sinus arrhythmia with a p to p interval variability that you can see okay sinal atrial exit block so failure of the electrical impulse to leave the sinus node and that results in a pause in the duration that is a multiple of the P2P interval. You can have non-conducted premature atrial complexes as well as sinus arrest, okay? So pretty much if you recall, uh, here's our heart from our box diagram. This is our right atrium, our left atrium, the right ventricle and left ventricle. And then here we have our sinus node that sits up here in the uh, upper right atrium, okay? From the right atrium, you or the sinus node, you have these internodal pathways that go to the AV node. You have a Bachmann bundle that goes to the left atrium. You have the His bundle that subdivides into a right bundle branch. Then you have a left bundle branch with the left anterior and posterior fascicle. So sinus arrest, here's the sinus node or sinal atrial node, okay? So if something's not uh, being propagated or started from there, okay? And so let's look at that. So we're saying that there's no P wave for at least two seconds. So if you look here, notice that we have some P waves that are occurring. So again, here, look at V1. You can also see in V5, here are P waves, okay? And then notice that there's a period that there's no P wave whatsoever until this period here, okay? And then again, no P wave until maybe there and so forth. And so this is one where we, we can see at least two seconds. Remember the total standard 12 lead from beginning to end is 10 seconds, okay? And we're asking for at least two second pause without a P wave. And you can certainly see that from right here up until that point, okay? If you were to measure that, that's almost about maybe half of that, so probably four to five seconds of a pause without any P wave occurring, okay? So that's what we mean by sinus pause or rest. So again, all we're doing here is looking for the absence of a P wave for at least two seconds, okay? We call that a sinus pause or rest, and we mentioned a number of associated conditions. So pretty much if you don't have an impulse that's leaving here, the sinus node, then you're not gonna have any propagation through the rest of the electrical conduction system. So this pause here that we said was probably at least four seconds or so. You can count it by counting maybe these small boxes or these bigger boxes. If you get five of them, that's one second. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's one second. And you can do the same thing the next seconds here and so forth. So about four seconds. Okay, so this is a sinus pause or rest, a great example here. Well, that's the end of this lecture. I hope you learned something. Now, just to keep you in mind uh, of our course material that we have available, so again, if you go to our website, www.ekg.md, okay, so this is our website, and what you'll notice is that if you go to the EKG course here, okay, you'll find stuff that's separate. So notice that we have a number of topics, practice material, lectures, a way for you to contribute, and this is the course here over here. So you'll notice we have over 300 videos or so, and that's more on YouTube. There's another hundred 
more than 100, about 200 videos that are available with the course. So those are separate videos. And this course is really designed to take you from a beginner to advanced interpreter. Okay, so completely separate from what you're getting online for free. Okay, these are um, course material that comes with it. So notice that you have a book okay and then you also have the pocket guide available so you can choose which format they are the same thing both these uh, book and the pocket guide uh, different formats uh, i really like this small one because you can keep it in your white coat if you're in the clinic or in your pocket and it's really available on the go now with the book you also get videos so notice these are the videos okay and these are a video for every single page in that book. So it's over 30 hours of video. Now there's a number of practice material that I continue to upload there. Okay, we'll have practice questions coming soon. Uh, so all of that's available. Again, this is separate from all the free material that you get already. Okay, so this is more high yield stuff. This is what we used to teach our uh, technicians here and our students here at Mayo Clinic and it's used now among many institutions so use uh, check that out now what it also includes are calipers so yes you get calipers with this course okay um i don't know anyone else that offers that but you do get calipers i think they're very helpful and they can uh you know if you know how to use them correctly uh can help to identify different uh, arrhythmias that are going on okay and then you also get our pocket EKG reference okay this was something we've put together as we were developing course for the fellows uh, and this is really nice it has every code as you saw earlier laid out there very small pocket guide available I had help with uh, my colleague Dr. Peter Noseworthy who's the head of the EKG lab here at Mayo Clinic in editing it so this is something that we use um, and we found very helpful so go to the ekg course you'll see examples of lectures okay why we developed this okay a lot of it came about from myself struggling with learning ekgs having a father that was an interventional cardiologist and you know still struggling so uh, my struggle is a struggle that i don't want you to have in learning them okay you can read all those introductory books but honestly they are not uh, enough okay and you find yourself using other resources which is part of the learning process i wanted to expedite that process for you and make it less uh, inefficient uh, in pretty much what i struggled with going and learning through ekg so again from beginner to advanced level with this course uh, you get the book the calipers the coding reference video access okay and now we're offering 25 percent off 25% off, put that code in on checkout and uh, you'll have yourself 25% um, off that will even, it's pretty much covers the cost of what we use to print the material. So uh, we don't really make much off it. It's more to help our learners grow and really be able to contribute to patient care. That's why we do this and we love doing it. So thank you so much for your support. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them below and we're happy to answer them. All right, have a great day.